Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We want to welcome Kelby Abercrombie and Michael Bauer, MD, the Chief Medical Officer, both co-founders of Freedom Health Systems. Thank you both for coming in. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. We're very excited to hear about your clinics. Yeah. Thank you. So, so give us an over. Yeah, give yeah. us an overview. Yeah, so um, uh, we're the co-founders of Freedom Health Systems, my wife and I, and um, we just opened in November um, in, in our Ozark location. We've opened a second location in Battlefield um, about two weeks ago, right in the middle of snowstorms. Uh, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, but uh, we're very proud of what we do. We're a multidisciplinary uh, practice. We have family medicine, pediatrics, IV nutrition, um, audiology, and, uh, and orthopedics. So we, we do a lot of full spectrum medicine. I'm, I love what you're doing. Kelby, tell the viewers what makes you different because you have a very unique business plan mm -hmm. and it's very convenient for people like me or Kelly yeah, yeah. to see a doctor. Yeah. yeah, so I think that what makes us stand apart is, well, first of all, we don't take insurance for a good reason. And that's because if we want one of our patients to have something done, we don't want to have to go through... Um, all the insurance, trying to get approvals, things like that. Like we can just do it. Right. Um, and so we've actually found ways to do things self-pay that actually can be a lot cheaper even than going through your insurance. So um, we are different in that way that we've just kind of worked the system a little bit and, and found a more affordable health care for people. Honestly, um, there is a time and place to have insurance, obviously, and there is a time and place for hospitals. But our goal is to keep people out of the hospital. So we really work on finding the root cause of illness um, and hope that our patients never really have to use the hospital in the first place. <laughs> I love that idea. That is great. Now, there's something called membership. Mm -hmm. So you work with membership and with non-membership. Yep. So we have both member options and non-member options. So um, for some folks that want to come in, we have a monthly fee that they can pay, and all of their visits are covered, all the preventative stuff is covered. Mm -hmm. um, and then they just, you know, if they get sick or their kiddos get sick, they come in, and there's no copay, there's no fee. They come in, they see us, and we do everything they need to do, and then, and then they send them on their way. Um, for other folks, um, we accept walk-ins and kind of more of a pay-as-you-go model. And so uh, for, for some people that really don't get sick or are only sick maybe once a year or twice, twice a year, they may not need that monthly membership fee. Right. And so for those people, they can just come in and establish and just pay as you go. And I think the other good thing about the membership model is that like we have a lot of members who actually travel for work. Yep. And so they can call us if they need us. So they'll be um, across the country and say, hey, I'm really sick. Can you talk to me about this and so we'll do a telehealth visit and then get them taken care of where they're at. We search pharmacies that we can use and, and we just help them wherever they are. I think you've hit uh, the nail on the head with the insurance thing because I know a lot of people growing up without a lot of money in my family and scared of the medical bills. It's something you think if you don't have insurance it's going to cost me an arm and leg and I can't afford to go to the doctor. And mm -hmm. so people end up not going to the doctor. Right. Tell them you could go to the doctor now and it's affordable. Yeah. Absolutely. And so I think that that's one of the part of the main education things that we're trying to do in our community is that um, like Kelby said we never discourage people from having insurance. We definitely think there's a time and a place for insurance, but a lot of times cash-based prices are actually much, much, much cheaper than going through your insurance. And you may find that um, if you need a study or need an exam and you run that through your insurance, it's actually more expensive right. for you as a patient if you just would have paid cash. And, and same so, thing for acute care too. Absolutely. I mean, you go to the ER for a laceration or you can come to us. We'll see you immediately get you out the door for probably less than half of I mean, yeah, a fraction yeah. of what your emergency or urgent care bills may be. Yeah. So you actually can stop in if you've got an emergency situation? Um, not so much an emergency, but, you know, more like urgent care type. Right. So, like, if you have, like, a foreign body that needs to be removed or a laceration or an abscess, like, we can take care of all that kind of stuff. Oh, my yep. goodness. It's how primary care offices used to be, but then they started kind of punting it off to the urgent cares. Well, we're not doing that. We take care of our patients here. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. speaking of how does somebody, if somebody's watching, how do you get new patients, how does somebody sign up? So um, they can either uh, visit our website, which is www.freedomhealthsystems.net, or they can call our office. Um, that number is 417-708-7010. And then they can be transferred to either location. Um, we have different services at different locations. So in our Ozark location, we do full-fledged uh, primary care. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also do our orthopedics, which is where we have our x-ray capabilities and some ultrasound capabilities, uh, in particular for joint injections, things like that. Mm -hmm. In our battlefield location, we have primary care. Uh, we have a pediatric uh, nurse practitioner. All he does is pediatrics. And we have an audiology. Um, uh, audiologist who does hearing aids, cochlear implants, um, 
Um, and she's phenomenal. We're really excited to mm -hmm. have her on our team as well. We do IV infusions at both. And okay, and, I, at both and I'm so interested. We, we're almost Just out of time. I'm so interested in all what you do. It seems like you all do kind of a prevention thing, which yep. I really appreciate yes. and are filling a gap mm -hmm. for what's needed. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So the IV infusions, we do a lot of IV uh, nutrition, a lot of things to keep people healthy. I want that. Mm -hmm. I want that right now. Guys, thank you so much. We <laughs> yeah, hope you'll I come do. back because we've got a million questions. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. We, just, we just hit the tip of the iceberg yeah. with yeah. this. Thank absolutely. you guys yeah, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Give them a call sign yeah. to be a new patient. Hey, and we come back, we're celebrating Fried Day with some fried foods, which I'm embarrassed saying in front of the doctor. <laughs> I feel so bad right now. Wow. That was. <laughs>